guys, welcome back to episode 2 of episode 3 of if Greece made an empire. So we do see Arabia first kicking into Portugal, kicking into Spain, but then Spain gets all of it together and, well, expands this way. It doesn't want to free Portugal, they think Portugal's its enemy. So they accidentally expand too much and they read ocean. Now, weirdly enough, not that's what happens. But France gets kind of run over a little bit. Even Brittany France gets taken off of the chop list. Take, they get taken up over here. There's some rebels. There's a lot of rebel. There's this massive rebel group here. Now when I say massive, I mean massive. And then... Here we have a new rebel group that's massive. Number! Ah! Bird ball! Ball ball! Do you want to play with me? If you want to fight with me, it's kind of like weird. The group does join um, Arabia in the end, and they do kind of split the country up. Very weirdly. Window, window, and they do. They finally capture France. Huh. But then there's key areas where they, where they do extremely good. Now, as this is the most defensed area, this is the second. Third is here. I don't know why, and then fourth is here. They, you would think there, but that's. The, but they're ranking up really quickly, so yeah. And then Greece decides to do something. Greece decides to do something insane. That is the clear war on this whole alliance. Just quickly snapping through India. As India is pretty quickly to invade. It does stop it a bit and it goes slowly until it, oh, until it ramps back up. India gets destroyed, that's one of the strongest members. So we have the strongest member being challenged, but then they did a big mistake. When I say big mistake, they did a big mistake by attacking one of Russia's allies. Well, they kind of didn't prepare for this. So they kind of... They kind of start that. And they use... And they do... Think that they are kind of destroyed, as they can get... Attacked by a lot of sides here at the moment. At the moment, she, they can't get attacked by like trillions upon trillions of side of sides right now. Because now they have kind of cursed themselves. So it's kind of Russia and China as the main ones versus Greece right now. So Greece is kind of that Greece was prepared for China. Greece has got all of its armies along China's borders, and as soon as China declared war, it was a fest. A feast. They take over that and then 
that's a big army group. There's loads of big army groups, so they get absolutely destroyed. So yeah, that's this is actually how King fought. This is the same way how King fought. <laughs> Oh yeah, and that's the Republic of China, I forgot, Taiwan. No, Republic of China, not Taiwan. Do you know, like, not even a lot of the population re realizes Taiwan is, well, Taiwan. They think it's the Republic of China, really seriously. So just this, the sure attack. So... China getting onto its last breath here. Russia knew this was going to happen. So they had the preparation, the preparation, the destruction power of, of just, of just doing this. So yeah. Trying to just kind of get some of its land back. Now, there was a lot of things here. Because they were prepared for Russia here, but not to do it here. So, like, that is kind of the vibe. That's the, just the biggest. I guess this is big, but then... Then again. Um, Russia leaves the war. But Russia also, because it leaves the war, gets land. And that's good. Just for Russia. They still have the Asian part. They kind of... They kind of destroy everything else. They get pushed away from everyone else. They don't want them secretly helping them. Because they are kind of flying past the F space that here is just a massive amount of armies. Just makes all of that sure that Russia does nothing. So Russia does be nice and gets land. But then this happens. That happens. And they get more land. And just because. I mean. Russia's massive. They, they decide they know what they're going to do to Russia. Because Russia's simply. Can be formed as massive. They will take a lot of land. From Russia. So Russia can be teach never to mess with them. So they actually take a few bits of land. So they, he said one day. So they teach Russia a very valuable lesson. And Russia understands it. Russia gets it. So yeah, all of a lot of Asia has been overrun by Greece influence. Influence. This is this. I don't know where the mainland Greece would be. I don't know if it'll just be there or just be there. I think here for the moment. So these guys don't back down because they do kind of do that. So North Korea does the smartest thing and leaves. So North Korea does become its friend. What friends look like? Yeah, you know what the friends look like? What? That. that. So then it just becomes its friend, and it kind they kind of give it loads of weapons, and they give it a lot to, to now be a massive country. 
just to teach, teach Russia a lesson, they they give North Korea that. As North Korea didn't attack it once, it just yeah, it takes that. Anything he said one day. This will behind. So just like this happens. Now Japan does surrender there. Then, but North Korea's done just wants to expand its war crimes. So, to so Tokyo being like between these states, it gets Tokyo, Tokyo, a lot of country, it gets destroyed, and Japan's barely alive until North Korea. North Korea becomes a power. Do you know who that says? Him. So, if we put North Korea here, he would look like this. So, he would own about that, so we move that to there. So it's kind of just a strong country total now, so just stay away from it. Now India was surviving a bit, just no. So now they can, he can finally start focusing on here. So um, yeah, he doesn't know, and he gives his his just good old ally all of this. So it's just like crazy, bro. Oh yeah, and they do do. Something Greece be smart because they know they'll just run to here now. Iceland leaves to be fair, that well, is a smart decision. Well, wait, he said one day you. This will be not behind if alive. You will just remember. Said one day when I was just a child, he ate my bum bum. And I'm feeling dumb dumb. I'm only kidding. And because how good of an ally Greece became, they kind of just give Arabia all of this. So. Yeah, they were kind of powered a lot by that group. Yeah, they were powered a lot by that group. So, yeah, just. The Nile that Egypt was holding on to badly. Right. Said one day when I so yeah, now that Greece has joined on the war again, then these guys get destroyed. But um, Algeria is strong enough by itself to hold them back. Now is the chance. Laugh you well, remember? Algeria has two sides. It's just fighting back both, both of them. Yeah, and Portugal gets destroyed. Split seconds. No, oh, my Raymond, not check too soon. So yeah, Algeria does never give up, so it just gets 
absolutely attacked too much until it starts crumbling. But then it stops for a sec, like seconds, seconds, and then it happens again. The algebra doesn't give up, so they do emotional speech. They said this message soon will become Arabian. I think Algerian is Arabian. Hold on! <laughs> Hold up! This message soon will be destroyed. And we would have been overrun by Saudi Arabia. I just want you to know that the government, me and you, love the country. And that will never ever leave you behind we tried our best hey say when you wait what that what algeria looks like no 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 there's no way to... i was about to say wait what just up there so, yeah um we have the completion of hold up wait a minute something ain't right hold up wait a minute something ain't right hold up wait a minute something ain't right hold up wait a minute Something ain't right. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. So they just immediately go here. And Italy. <laughs> also, there is a bit of the Axis that was trying to destroy them. The Allies, I guess. Trying to destroy them. So yeah, France is still like so. Yes, they survived in San Marino. And Italy did let them. Well, this is more heavily populated, so they started just being destroyed, though. To live a life you will remember. Said one day when I was just a tramp. Who loves you? My father told me. My father told me I, I would never die. Italy getting extremely, extremely hurt. Doesn't surrender. Um, never speech. Not as emotional called. Yo, sting came and destroyed. So then they have them invading Croatia. So yeah, they kind of wanted to just assert their dominance. As they should have invaded the Balkans first, the Balkans first, but they didn't really want to. They thought that the Balkans was too strong, even with Turkey, and that was true. Said one day, I was touch. I remember he's. I was just touch. So he kind of does that. And that's the only thing that he does there. What would this be? I don't know where the freak is or where the freak is. We are in the outer Baltic, the Baltics, the outer Baltics. Just kind of explain the slow advance. So the slow, slow, slow. Super extremely slow advancement in is insane. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my god. 
Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, so they put that armor hats on and they kind of take over a lot over here. They take over a lot of the outer Baltics. The outer Baltics gets destroyed and this country, I forgot it. They, they are allowed to stay because how tiny they aren't. Miniature. Also miniature. So miniature. So, so yeah, it's kind of like the same what Turkey did. They didn't do the same as Turkey. I mean, Turkey was decently around this. Just like... Like, they kind of just invaded everything just because they wanted to. <laughs> so guys, I want you to tell me, so far, which one's bigger? The Brazilian? The United States? The United States? Stakes, I mean? I mean, United States? Yeah, not United States. Or... Greece or the Turkish, the Brazilian Empire. Which one was the biggest? Which one was the, had the biggest empire? It'll be very close, but I think Greece, as it is starting to close in on the Baltics. Baltics are all like they all united. That's not really stopping Greece. The last bit of things that connect to the actual sea has just been lost. So they kind of cut down this is not really a challenge for them as the Baltics are maybe small North Macedonia just kind of get a little overrun over here so they kind of they kind of get surrounded quickly so a lot of Greasons has set their home like there even though they don't own that and like North Macedonians Killing Greasons in their country because they think they don't they don't belong there. Baby, when I was just a child, I eating moms that didn't die. They say one day. To live a life remember. Said one day you'll leave this one. Mm -hmm. So North Macedonia gets destroyed. Oh yeah, and these and these late and these places were begging for mercy, so they they just get freed. So this country has now got it all of its stuff together. That doesn't they attack with full strength. Over here. So, stops Greece there, but like, Greece over here is like doing this. They should have organized, they should have known what to do. To just attack all the sides. And then the last Baltic gets destroyed. So, anyways. Whoa, whoa, so anyways, how big do you, th who do you think would win in a fight? Dirty stop. The Greece Empire, the Brazilian Empire, the United States, I mean States Empire, 
the first Arabian Empire, because there are going to be second. The Turkish Empire, or the Greece Empire. Inland, I think Greece is kind of really got that. They could have annexed Russia, which I could have gave them. They could have annexed North Korea. They could have been way bigger than this, but they they was just nice and confident. They could have done that. They could have gone out to this and just be massive. But that would kind of lead to its downfall, as there would be troops there, there would be troops there, 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 there. So they would kind of get pushed in by a lot of countries. That would force a lot of country, more countries to form, <coughs> to join, <coughs> to join and start destroying Greece. So yeah, I've got some joy, please, and some peace.